Hey friends, here we are given this quadratic equation x square plus 3 minus lambda into x plus 2 equals lambda. What is the value of this lambda such that the sum of the squares of the roots of this equation has the least value? If alpha, beta are the roots, then alpha square plus beta square should be minimum. Let us bring this lambda also to the left side and make this a complete quadratic equation. Okay, so this becomes x square plus 3 minus lambda into x plus 2 equals to this lambda. We are bringing it to the left side. So then this becomes 2 minus lambda. Everything else will remain same. This is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. a is 1, b is 3 minus lambda and c is 2 minus lambda. What is the sum of the roots? Sum of the roots is minus b by a that is minus of 3 minus lambda that is lambda minus 3. Product of the roots is 2 by a that is 2. Okay, we want square of sum of roots alpha square beta plus beta square this should be minimum we can write this alpha square plus beta square as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta right it's a very easy manipulation what is alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is minus of 3 minus lambda that is lambda minus 3 lambda minus 3 whole square minus 2 alpha beta that is 2 times 2 minus lambda okay so this if we expand this lambda square a square minus 2ab plus b square that is this lambda square minus 6 lambda plus 9 minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4 minus 2 times minus lambda which is plus 2 lambda okay this lambda square let's take as is minus 6 plus 2 which is minus 4 lambda plus 9 minus 4 which is 5 okay we can write this as lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 5 we can now this is again another quadratic equation right is in the form of f square minus 4x plus 5. Okay, this type of equation, we can make this a perfect square and write it like this, or there is another way. This equation, this equation, when a quadratic equation, what is the vertex? Quadratic equation is basically a parabola. It looks something like this. Right, this is a quadratic equation. The graph of this function is something like this. Okay, now graph, because the a, a here, which is 1, it's greater than is positive greater than 0 that's why it is facing upwards or otherwise it will face downwards somewhere like this okay it will face downwards here in this case a is greater than 0 that's why it is facing upwards now every parabola has got something called a vertex that is this point the slowest point if it is facing upwards or the highest point if it is facing inwards that is called vertex we know coordinates of the vertex what are the coordinates of the vertex the x coordinate is minus b by 2a that is this one and y coordinate is c minus b square by 4a that is y coordinate okay or c coordinate is function of when ax square plus bx plus c if you so just substitute minus b by 2a in ax square plus bx plus c in this equation if you just substitute minus b by 2a in x you will get this one okay so the y coordinate is this and x coordinate is this right now for this equation, we are talking about the minimum value. Minimum value, obviously, the y coordinate. The, the graph is like this, or like this, like this, or even down. It doesn't matter. Minimum coordinate will always be the minimum value of, of a graph which is facing upwards, will always be its vertex. Its vertex. What is the vertex? What is the value of this vertex? Minus b by 2a. That is minus b by 2a. In this case, what is this? minus of minus 4 which is plus 4 by 2 that is your our x coordinate which is equal to 2 and what is our y coordinate y coordinate is c minus b square that is 5 minus b square b square is 16 minus 4 whole square that is 16 by 4 here that is 4 this is equal to 5 minus 4 equals to 1 that is our y coordinate okay so basically the lowest point is coming at 2 comma 1 and the lowest point lowest value of this function is actually equal to 1 we can do it this way also lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 5 we can make it a perfect square like this or or we can directly use this formula c minus b square by 4 here this is the this is y coordinate of the vertex what is the x coordinate minus b by 2a any parabola okay the vertex is minus b by 2a and y coordinate of that vertex is you can just substitute that x in the equation or you can directly say c minus b square by 4a whether the graph is facing upwards 
are facing downwards. When will it face upwards? When a is greater than 0. When this is positive, this graph will face upwards. Why this will why this graph will face upwards when when a is positive? Because a x square will always be positive. X square is anyway positive always. A x square will be positive. And when x goes very big, right? When goes very big, these two will become negligible. These two will become negligible. And a x square is the only thing that matters. For example, x, x becomes very big, like 100,000 and all. Only thing that matters is a x square. These two will become very small when compared to this one. And a is positive, x square is positive. So the graph has to be positive. So as x increases, only positive values will be left in this equation. So when a is greater than 0, the graph is positive. When a is less than 0, the graph faces upwards. When a less than 0, the graph would be something like this. In both the cases, the vertex is defined by minus b by 2a and c minus b square by 4a. Right, guys. Hope you like this. Thank you.